Hey everybody, Hemang here with a refreshing Water 101 topic. Have you ever wondered how major brands get their cold beverages like soda or iced tea to taste the same? Whether you get them at a convenience store or your favorite local restaurant? Well, as you probably guessed, a major contributor to those consistent taste profiles is the quality water used to make those beverages. Let's dig deeper. In the industry, we call these post-mixed beverages because they're typically a combination of five parts water and one part syrup, mixed in the nozzle of the dispensing valve. These beverages are 83% water or more. Now there are a few influencers on water quality and beverage flavor that are commonly found in municipal water supplies that could affect the product coming from a cold beverage machine. The first and most obvious are small particles. You want the beverage to look clear and avoid potential equipment downtime from clogged beverage dispensing nozzle or valves. Secondly, and less commonly, are cystine bacteria. While municipalities treat water for cystine bacteria, it doesn't hurt to use water filters that further reduce residual cysts and bacteria that may be in the water. Third, and the most important factor to address for consistent tastes are chlorine and chloramines. These are used as disinfectants in water supplies to neutralize cystine bacteria. But even low levels of chlorine or chloramines can create off notes or odors in the beverage. And remember, beverages are carbonated to accent their flavor, but chlorine and chloramines may have a varying effect on the flavor of those carbonated beverages. Fortunately, the right activated carbon filtration system may help you tackle these potential water quality and flavor issues without influencing the formulation the beverage provider wants to control. That means you can achieve that same crisp, refreshing flavor that customers recognize and expect. Want to find out what filtration system may be right for your cold beverage application? Check out 3mfoodservice.com to learn more.